Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 24 of the Leak Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. No, nope, haven't gotten any free points lately, or coins or whatever. <laughs> anyway, today's farm is perhaps some 2, 113. All right, so we turn all wood to leaf paps where the sum of the node and the the uh from wood to leaves okay so it has to be all the way to the leaf not not um not anything else okay and what are we what are we returning we're returning uh we're returning the paths themselves so okay yeah let's uh let's do okay you have to return the values not the references okay so yeah let's do it this is just recursion um i mean it's an implicit stack using in, in recursion and you can do it with an explicit stack as well um this is probably gonna be a, um <clears throat> hmm, let's see i was i mean it, it the time and sp space is a little bit um tricky because i think the space is actually going to be i want to say n square and n square time right um, and the reason why I say this is because you have to return the result. Um, and the result could be n square. Um, yeah, it could be n square uh, uh, space, right? Because if you think about a full tree, the, or the, then in the last level, there's going to be n over two uh, nodes, right? And so, oh, actually, maybe that's not true. Sorry. Huh, let me, let's see. So in a full tree, there'll be n over two, but the the side the length of each one is log n. So that's gonna be n log n side, huh? Stuff like this is kind of hard to analyze. Uh, so definitely, this is why you have to think about it, or I did anyway, um, because in that case, the length of the longest tree will be log n. But I wonder if there's a way to construct this so that it's n square. But hmm, maybe not. I don't know, but yeah, but that said, it is definitely not linear time and not linear space. So that's that's really maybe a place to uh, a place to start and a place to think about upsolving in terms of um, your knowledge. Right, the implementation for this is not that bad. I think if you're doing an interview, you probably a hundred percent should be able to be comfortable with this and and solve this in a reasonable time. Let's say aim for twenty minutes and yeah. But, but that said, you know, like the, um, the analysis is actually kind of tricky. If, if you only return a value, we mean like a count or something like that, then it can easily be O of N and O of sp N time and space, or you could even say O of H space where, where H is the height of the tree. But yeah, I, I, I said a lot before I even actually started coding. Hopefully that was useful, but let's get started. Uh, okay. How am I getting started? Okay, so yeah, we just have a recursion. We go, uh, yeah, I'm just going to recurse because I'm feeling a little bit lazy right now. Uh, and then the current sum. Um, and actually, you probably also need... Mm, I'm trying to think whether I want it explicit or implicit. I guess that's fine. I guess, yeah, path. And then the current sum, say. Um, and yeah, this is a weird... Uh, casing but just to be consistent with the target sum i guess anyway if node is uh, is none we just return if no dot left is none and no dot right is none then this is a leaf and then we check whether if current sum is to go to target sum then we have some answer thing that i mean you could do this in a couple of ways with like you know combining stuff the way that i'm going to do it is just with like this um, and here, keeping in mind that it, if you're using Python and maybe in other similar languages, you need this thing. This thing is, I, I think sometimes I, I don't remember to uh, explain it. And the reason why we need this is because it makes an, a copy of the entire way. If we just do something like this, it will actually uh, only append the reference to that array. And what happens is that when you manipulate that reference, you will manipulate or instances of, or, you know, when you look up what the reference points at, it'll, it'll, you know, all be the same. And also if you, um, 
if you append it to answer multiple times, it's the same reference, just that it has multiple times. And when you um, when you return the answer and you you see all the things look the same, that's basically why. Um, I I am. Um, I have made this mistake enough time to learn this lesson and kind of become second nature. But as a result, I do sometimes forget to uh, uh, to to uh, bring it up. So yeah. Um, so if it doesn't look as some, then we just return anyway. Otherwise, we go left, we go right, we go left, uh, we go right. Uh, I think I messed up something here. Hmm. But yeah, that's fine. I think I here I need uh, current sum at no, no dot value. Maybe that's what I need here in general. Maybe I don't just, and I don't have to put it here. Okay. Um, and here the reason why I left it like this is actually because we don't want to make a copy here, as we said. So we'll append uh, no dot value, and then on the um, and then pop it from stack later, right? So basically, that's it. Um, I think this should be mostly okay unless I, I made a mistake, which, you know, happens a lot, <laughs> even, maybe. So, yeah. Uh, and then we turn answer, and then we'll, let's give it a spin. Oh, perhaps I'm not defined. Oh, whoops. <laughs> For some reason, I was doing whatever a bit. Using the wrong function, easy typo, easy wrong answer. Oh, um, hmm. oh, because the path I append here and I added the note here, but I don't, it's not here. So, hmm, okay, fine. Let's just append it. Hmm, I guess we could just do it here and then. Because we're using the reference to kind of save reallocating space. Uh, this is why we have to be a little, uh, or a lot careful, really. Um, as you can see, I did have an off by one. Sometimes a little bit tricky. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Let's give a quick submit, see how, how it compares to how I did last year, apparently. Hopefully, yes. First try. <laughs> I feel like I've been making a lot of silly mistakes lately, for those of you who've been watching. So, yeah, it's always good to know. 907-day streak. Um, yeah. It's... Friday slash Saturday, depending on where you are. So I hope y'all have a great weekend. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.